Good Monday evening, everyone. Felt more like summer today than winter. Our high temperatures reached records in Harlingen, Westlaco, and McAllen. 93 today in McAllen, 89 in Harlingen and Westlaco. No records in Brownsville today with 86 degrees. It's going to stay warm for tomorrow, but another cold front, a stronger one, is on the way to the valley by midweek. Here is a satellite radar summary. We had a weak front pass through this morning. It just brought some less humid air. Still very warm behind the front for today, but the skies are beautiful for this afternoon. Lots of blue in the sky. Now for tonight, thanks to mostly clear skies, those temperatures will tumble. Look at the winds right now. Out of the northeast to east, between 5 to 10 miles an hour. Not too bad at this time. But if you're out and about late tonight, you may want that light sweater or jacket. Temperatures have started to come down now. We were in the lower 90s about two hours ago in McAllen and upper 80s in Westlaco. Now in the upper 70s here at the station. We're in the mid 70s in Harlingen, lower 70s in Raymondville, and mid 80s out west in Rio Grande City. So we start off mild tonight at 7 p.m. with temperatures in the mid 70s, mostly clear skies. But thanks to the mostly clear skies and less humidity, those temperatures will tumble. Mid 60s at 9 p.m. and 60 at 11 o'clock this evening. Those overnight lows should dip into the lower 50s by Tuesday morning. Where's all the cold air? It's bottled up to the north behind that jet stream because the jet stream is not coming down. That's why it's keeping all the cold air up north. Here's the upper Midwest, Northeast Pacific Northwest. Look at this 10 degrees in Bismarck, North Dakota, 32 Minneapolis, St. Paul, 18 Thunder Bay, Ontario, out west, two below in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, 11 Missoula, Montana, 19 in Boise, Idaho, and out east, 47 degrees in Cleveland, Ohio. Back home in Texas, things will stay quiet here in the valley. There's that weak front that passed through our area earlier today. It brought some very nasty weather to southeast Texas, many parts of Louisiana and Alabama, Mississippi. There's that front stalled out over Mississippi and Alabama, bringing a lot of showers and thunderstorms, nasty thunderstorms to the southeast this evening. So it's going to stay warm here tomorrow, but not as warm as today with high temperatures in the lower 80s. And then another front, a stronger cold front should arrive here in the valley by early Wednesday morning. So we've gone from we're going to go from above normal temperatures today, high temperatures to below normal temperatures by the second half of the week. Now, normal high temperature, mind you, is 70 degrees for this time of year. So above normal highs today and tomorrow and then below normal temperatures just in time for Thursday and for Friday. We're talking about high temperatures, folks, in the 60s for Thursday and for Friday behind this front. This front should stall out south of the valley Thursday and Friday, so we're going to keep in a slight chance of some showers, but you will want those jackets and sweaters for the second half of the week into next weekend, thanks to this strong cold front on the water. Watch out for some patchy late fog tonight. We'll have winds early on into the north and shifting to the east at seven to nine knots. Bay waters are a light shot. Your next tide is a high tide at 748 this evening and the seas are two to five feet. So for tonight, we'll start off mild with temperatures in the 70s early on this evening, but down to 53 late tonight and early tomorrow morning under mostly clear skies. A chilly Monday night with light and variable winds after a chilly start tomorrow morning. It does warm up nicely for the afternoon with mostly sunny skies and the high temperature of 84. The winds will be out of the east at 5 to 10 miles an hour. So here's that seven day forecast. We start off warm tomorrow with a high of 84. The front comes in early Wednesday morning down to 73 for the high that could be in the morning. And then for Thursday and Friday, we'll put in a 30% chance of some spotty showers and mostly cloudy skies. But look at the high temperatures 65 Thursday, 60 on Friday, 62 on Saturday. The morning lows are in the upper 40s Friday and Saturday. We could be down to 40 degrees, maybe even upper 30s by next Sunday morning. That's your first one five forecast. Back to you, Oscar.